Yo guys, what's going on? It's Rayuga here with another killer video, and we're actually going to be continuing, finally, the off-meta series. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we left off with the nurse, and now we're going to have to continue with Huntress. And let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, if you guys watch me on Twitch, you probably already know what one of my go-to builds on her is. I really love Huntress's Lullaby. It's like my favorite hex. But uh, yeah, let's jump into it. We're going to be using Brutal Strength, so basically... We destroy pallets, we kick walls, gens, 20% faster. We run Huntress's Lullaby. What this is, is survivors receive a 6% penalty um, when they miss a skill check while healing or repairing. Every time you hook a survivor, this gets a token. And for every token, it increases the... Um, it, it decreases the time between the skill check warning sound and the skill check actually like showing up. And then at 5 tokens, the skill check warning goes away. Undying, uh, what this does is if a survivor comes within 4 meters of any dull totem, their orders are revealed. Um, if a hex totem would get cleansed, its effects transfer to undying instead, and then undying is uh, deactivated. And then we're running fire up, so for each generator completed, we get a 4% stackable weapon that grants a speed bonus to picking up, dropping, vaulting, uh, damaging gens, breaking pallets, and breaking walls for the rest of the trial. We stack that with brutal strength. It's a nice little uh, stacky for late game for kicking pallets. And we're running Monograss Braid, which decreases the time required to wind up hatchet. And then Oak Haft, which decreases the hatchet throw cooldown by 20%. And then we're running Blood Points. So, uh, yeah. I'm not that good at Huntress, fair warning. Let's go ahead and jump into the match. I'll see you guys there. Alright, Father Campbell's Chapel. Let me adjust my mic stand real quick. Okay. So, like I said, I haven't played Huntress in a hot minute. Ooh, Undying or a Pog Dog. I mean, I kind of already knew they spawned there anyways. So let's go ahead and try to hopefully get some use out of Lullaby before it gets cleansed. I saw multiple upon multiple scratch marks. Oh, that missed so barely. Okay, whatever. I don't know if you guys saw how close that was to hitting. It was actually really close. Need that fat warm up. Actually, very split on gens, which is sucky. I wonder if he has dead hard. Yeah. I knew he would do that too. That's the worst part. playing very poorly. Unfortunate. Well, we have a lot of injuries, so we might be able to do something with this. Alright. Perfect. Hopefully we can start actually getting some pressure. I'm not running barbecue, I have to remember that. Hello everybody. Vault. Yeah. Wow, that was a, such an early vault. Oh, she just kept running? That's insane. And there's actually, I've never seen rocks position like this before. It literally just blocked off like every 
avenue of me hitting him. Oh, we love that hard. Okay, she booked it so very far away. Can hook up next to this gen and protect it. If I get the chance, I guess. Cool. Now we can go after K1. Oh, I tried to thread it. My bad. I like this guy's name. The flaunt is a lie. All right, we are getting stacks of Huntress's lullaby. They're probably gonna pop that gen. I think I just let it go and I try to defend Killer Shack. Maybe. Yeah, cause like they're gonna finish that regardless. I have no idea where this person went. It might still be there. We're going to give it a second. Still regressing. We know they popped that gen right there, which means they're going to come from this direction. Steve is up here. I heard somebody near me as well. Pretty sure this girl is forked. I can't really wind up here. Steve probably saw that totem. Maybe he didn't. It might be tucked away enough. They're gonna heal on the hook. That is my guess. We'll see. Uh, I'll go back. Steve healed back there. Back to the gen. I saw blood. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> if we can get a basement hook, we'll get a lot of pressure here. I'm surprised she didn't opt in to get healed. Kind of have a good 3 gen going, but protecting main isn't necessarily easy. At all. And once they pop that, we're fucked. They're above us. Steve. We really probably should protect basement. I shouldn't give them this much leeway. Yeah, I shouldn't have left. That was so stupid. Okay. I guess I just pick up. Oh, that girl fucking booked it, damn. Yeah. Um, I say we just leave that gen alone. I genuinely have no idea where the other girl went, though. I feel bad. I kind of, like, tunneled the Kate out, but... Like... That Meg did not take a hit. And I would have gladly went for the Meg instead. But she fucking... Booked it. Okay, let's kick this. Okay, this has like no progress, but I'm kicking it anyways. Yeah, they can finish that, that's fine. Uh, this had a little bit of progress. So really all they have to do is do main gen. And it looks like Steve has had a little bit of an easy get out. 
We chased him from a certain direction. Where are they? It's very weird. Okay, they're here. Oh, hello. Gets that hard. Oh, got rid of it. Or killed him before he could use it. These guys are stealth masters. I still haven't hooked a Jill yet, I don't think. Now we just kind of protect the basement. Maybe Lullaby will also help us with the gens. I'm amazed they're not working on main building gen. I have, that was just me being fucking bad. Alright, I need to get the Jill. I would like to at least get a hook on the Jill who's been fucking hiding or whatever. Steve, I gave you a chance to run away by going after the Jill. I tried to kick the gen that I've already kicked. God, I'm so bad. Alright, we hook you. See if Steve has DS, which he might. Oh, no DS. Now we just find the mag. So now we just find her. Oh, hello. It says that I'm having an overload with my encoding, which is weird for recording. Never had that before. Oh, I mean, no borrowed time. Oh, well. Well, that was a match. Started off terrible, but they somehow didn't capitalize on the fact that we were, in, like, increasingly bad at this game. They could have just uh, instead done the gen in the main building and been just fine. But they decided not to. Alright. I don't think we deserve that win, but, I mean, if you, if you can't see that there was an easy gen to do at main, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, GG's. Alright, let's go into the next match. Hopefully, it's we don't play as terrible as we played in the first match. I'll see you guys there. Oh, great. What a fantastic Huntress map for the best Huntress player in the game, obviously. Uh, but luckily for us, uh, that this map is good for totems. Um, I'm going to check the bathroom first. No, I'm not. I'm an idiot. I still, even though I quote unquote know this map, I can never go exactly where I think I'm going. Hello? Any gamers? Hello? Earth to gamers! Ah, uh, yes, I love when they cleanse my totem that has zero effect on the match.
Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. Deadheart's getting nerfed, Copium. Soon. Alright? It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> With the mid-chapter update, no more dead hard. Where is everybody? There are a lot of gems downstairs. I saw her, but I also... See you. Let's kick this real quick. Call of Brian would actually probably be a good replacement for uh, Fire Up. But uh, I don't have it unlocked yet on this. Like, I haven't spent the blood points. Because I just finished maxing out the rest of my characters. Oh, there goes, uh, uh, Lullaby, unfortunately. So it's just me and my brutal strength now. All the gems are downstairs, so, like... Hello, again. Man, this is kind of tunneling, I guess. But. Bro, I hear somebody scurrying. And. Oh, okay, no. Well, I was gonna try to not tunnel this guy, but if you're just gonna insta drop every pallet, you know what? I'll just pick him right up. Refill real quick. All right, on to the next survivors. Nurse's calling would also be great on this map. Uh, so that guy was like over here. I hear somebody. I hear the scampering. Scampering of a scamper. I'll go ahead and leave these guys. I assume Jeff went back to his gen. On that gen. This is still regressing? Wow. Hello. Somebody different this time. Probably. Nope, no pallet here. Look at me. <laughs> Hi. Definitely not. He'll drop down. I'll follow. There wasn't a pallet here. So her plan is to dead hard? Oh, it was to do whatever that was. I'll take it though. This is very engaging gameplay on the game, by the way. We love it. We love it. But this is definitely one of my preferred builds on Huntress. I love Fire Up, and I love uh, Lullaby. We do have one guy dead on hook. Okay, so this guy's gonna have to come around here, probably. Yeah. Oh, hi. You're dead. You know that? Yolo. Oh, I managed to thread it. Oh man, we're pogging. Um, let us see what you have for us, Ace. You are so going to have to dead hard. Alright, this loop really sucks for us. It's really short. Oh, that was not. Alright. Oh, well, goodbye, Ace. Unfortunately, I didn't find the Hattie. But this map is too scuffed for me to actually try to find people. I kind of want to check bathroom gen real quick, because it's a free hit if they are there. Oh, thanks. I'll take that. Are we going to throw this one too? Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I tried to put it over the box. Damn. 
Uh, there is a pallet that spawns here occasionally, but he can't throw it because it's too unsafe. So, if he has dead heart... I guess we can throw him down in the basement. Make it a little tricky for them to get here. Make it a little bit of a travel time, at least. We still need to find Hattie, because I don't think we've hooked her. We did go after her once. She was the one that interrupted the pallet, now that I remember, actually. Ace would still be alive, too. Alright, uh, so they're probably going to drop down from the top somewhere. Just gotta make sure they don't do gens. I hear you. That guy killed himself. That's fun. I hear you breathing. Who is it? Hattie. Have you had enough of this game? Oh, yeah, we love Dead Heart. Although, I think Dead Heart is still going to work pretty well against Huntress, the new one. Because all you have to do is activate it, and you should be able to eat the hatchet hit, at least. With the endurance effect. We hooked cool guy. She would just love how fast you kick walls and doors. With, like, three stacks of Brutal and Fire Up. Three stacks of fire up and brutal strength. Ooh, you were doing a gen. That's spicy. Okay. Were you hiding? Are we getting the unhook? I feel like I heard scampering, but that could be. It went down. Hey, she had dead heart. Oh, hello. Well, that's fun. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. Her blood stopped. I'm kind of confused. Okay, she was in the locker. Oops. I don't understand how her, her blood was to the left of the locker. Unless I'm blind. I'm probably blind. Oh, she doesn't have DS. Maybe she missed it. I'll have to look back at the replay and see if the blood was actually at the locker or not. Not gonna lie, my, I didn't even register the lockers in my visual. I didn't even see those lockers. I was too busy focused on the blood and the scratch marks. I was like, wait, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> well. Not the best map for Huntress, but I'll take it. Somehow we did better than the one that wasn't this map. But it is what it is, I guess. He did have DS, so he probably missed it because of fire up or something. I don't know. Other than that, though, uh, GG, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the off meta Huntress. This is your reminder. Just make sure you guys, when you're playing the game, use builds that you enjoy. They don't necessarily have to be off meta, but, you know, if you venture outside your comfort zone, you might find perks you actually really like, and you might realize that you can still win with them, that you don't need to run. Pain Resonance, Dead Man Switch, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good share day, night, evening, morning, whatever time it is, whenever you guys are watching this video. I'll see you in the fog. Peace.